the oncoming PT boats, she opens fire. The president has asked that the destroyer force be doubled and the air cap, combat air patrol, be available at all times on call to it. And as I think you know, he's issued instructions that in the event of a further attack upon our vessels in international waters, we are to respond with the objective of destroying the attackers. The Maddox, joined by the destroyer Sea Turner Joy, resumes its routine patrol. But the next night, the men on watch and the two destroyers once again detect unidentified contacts on radar. The attack by the North Vietnamese boats is renewed. The boats are sunk. The attackers break contact. My fellow Americans, as President and Commander-in-Chief, it is my duty to the American people to report that renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. The performance of commanders and crews in this engagement is in the highest tradition of the United States Navy. But repeated acts of violence against the armed forces of the United States must be met not only with alert defense, but with positive reply. Embodied in the forces of the United States 7th Fleet, almost every facet of modern naval power. Cruisers like the USS Canberra are built for fast speeds and long endurance. The destroyer, indispensable to any naval action, is the workhorse of the fleet. The USS Bainbridge, a destroyer leader, is largest of the destroyer class, the world's first nuclear-powered guided missile frigate. Fire for effect, over. 